Line type generation. We have an option in our P edit for line type generation. By default, it's turned off. So what happens is here I have a center line. And when the line is long, it allows me to have the dashes in here. But when I have a short segment, it isn't long enough to represent the dashes. So these shorter segments don't have any dashes. Once the line is long enough to have the dash put in there, it can put it in. But the shorter ones don't have it. And you can see it has long enough and the shorter ones don't have it. A long one does. So when I turn my line type generation on, it will force the pattern to start at the beginning and it's going to force that pattern to go all the way through the line type as if it was one line not a series of short little segments in this polyline so that we will get this pattern running through the whole object to do that we're going to go up to modify and we're going to go to p edit we're going to select anywhere on the polyline and we're going to go down to line type generator Notice it's currently off. When I switch it to on, you'll see how the lines go all the way through. And it's going to run this pattern. I'm going to hit enter and get this out of the way. It's going to start here and it's going to just keep running the pattern no matter if there's a vertex or not. So in some cases like this, it actually, there's a dash right where the vertex is not always the greatest option again that happened here and here so you know that's it's kinda like not always the best option but sometimes you might want to force all those lines to come through if you want to go back the other way we go to P edit select on the object we go to line type generation and we'll go to off and I'll hit enter and we're back to its normal state then so each line segment starts starts again. So we have two ways of doing this line type generation. You can decide what looks best for your project.